This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God Written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 6, this is Section 8. Dreams Are they idols? Hi David, your email a few days ago caught my attention. I have read it and reread it a few times and will probably reread it a few more times before I can take it all in. I am afraid that I am just getting to a point in my life when I would very much like to wholeheartedly bring forth some beautiful seeds or at least one of the seeds. This is one of my dreams. Now it would seem quite useless to bring forth a dream such as an alphabet book. Are dreams also idols? Lots of aspects, in fact most, almost all of the supporting or unsupporting members of my life are fast falling away. All the props are being taken away. I'm stressing out and from time to time buy into anxiety about how my personal future will work itself out. If my house sells, then I can go on with a pilgrimage dream and jump out of this dream of living in a house and working on a children's book and some artwork and from time to time participating in a Course in Miracles activities or other spiritual avenues which call me home. Beloved one, thank you so much for your heartfelt and sincere email. You are on the cusp of understanding that the specific dreams of the ego mean nothing and the forgiving unified dream perspective offered by the Holy Spirit is everything in terms of perception of the world. Yes, The spiritual experience that brings awakening requires a release or letting go or including in of all specific dreams and specific goals. Abstraction calls and those who have the ears to hear and the eyes to see gladly answer the call. The world of ego familiarity dissolves and falls away in awareness as you enter the realms that the mystics and saints and sages have spoken about for centuries. Your trust in the Holy Spirit grows strong as you withdraw faith from the ego and the body and the five senses the ego made to reinforce its error of separation. I love you dearly. You are not alone, beloved one. Although the dissolving ego would have you believe and think and feel and perceive that you are. I am with you always, closer than the breath which seems to animate the dream figure. Our comforter is ever-present, reminding all that the dreams of seeming fear and guilt and isolation are almost over now and will change to happy dreams of non-judgment through forgiveness of illusions and non-attachment to form. The only outcome worthy of our holy mind is peace and this is independent of form. Heed not the ego's witnesses, for false images appearing real cannot keep you from awakening unless this be your desire. Nothing happens by accident. In relative terms, very, very few seem ready to release illusion entirely and accept the atonement. 
This has been written as a symbol to not be discouraged when you look upon the images of the world. The plan of salvation is always now and always is simply the moment of grace that you experienced waiting for your snow tires to be mounted. The ego wants to join the spiritual journey with its goals of economic success, material prosperity and special ones to call family, whether it be a biological or ethnic or spiritual family. The ego judges against the one and the ones who do not support its form goals and outcomes. Yet there are no form goals or outcomes that will not instantly dissolve into the light of peace when they are no longer valued. Ascend in love by giving complete forgiveness priority over everything the ego's world can seem to offer. No one who would realize the truth can be associated or affiliated with any of the specific dreams or symbols of the world. Truth, being present, cannot be organized in form. Love, being abstract, cannot be objectified and focused on persons, places, events, things, groups or organizations. Let all projects of form give way to purpose, to accepting the atonement. Everything is already accomplished and so watch the dream in happiness with the Holy Spirit and let all things be exactly as they are. Live in integrity. If you feel out of accord with the harmony of the present, let go of the thoughts of the future. Feel the peace of our holy mind right now, the mind that is shared with God. Grace is experienced when the mind lets go of trying to control anything of the world of form. Remember, in peace I live, in grace I am released. You are ever in my heart, beloved of God.